All right, so here we have um, an example of the HP 5000. Um, well, basically, it's an active SWR power and modulation meter. Um, this is quite the meter, and um, it has a lot of features. Uh, first of all, one unique feature is it has an antenna switch. So there's two antenna connections on the back of here for two different antennas, obviously. It has your SWR reading, your modulation, RF power, and there's a lot of settings. Uh, as you can see, it's 5 watts, 50 watts, or 500 watts. Then you have uh, average PEP and sideband. Um, I haven't tested all of these features, but uh, this one is uh, working. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this uh, switch on. So there's the power switch. And it has a dimmable, so you can have this all the way up. Uh, and then this is kind of just, you know, however, whatever area you like. I like it about there, I suppose. So I'm going to go sh show you that it is working. I've got it connected to a uh, basic CB over here, a Cobra 29. And then so I'm going to key up this thing. There you go. And uh, as I talk to it, uh, or talk into the mic, testing. And I've already set the SWR meter uh, into a dummy load. So um, this radio puts out a, a good 5 watts. And as you talk into it, it goes up to about 10. And there's about four and a half. Then, so you can see the radio works quite nicely. Uh, this particular radio doesn't have sideband, so I can't uh, test it for that. But it has, a, like I say, a lot of features. This is the 50-watt uh, setting here. Uh, 5 watts would be a little too much. But I will go to the 5 watt real quickly here. We'll switch this to 5 watts. There we go. And so as I key it up, as you can see, oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> it lights up red. It's probably telling you it's too much. Maybe my SWR meter went up with that. Oh, you probably have to recalibrate your SWR for each setting. Uh, so anyway, I had it in the 50 watt, which it likes. And uh, hello. As you can see, it does work. Um, this thing has had seen better days. It's got the you demand sticker on there, which uh, if you are the man, you want this meter. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's uh, oh, uh, on the back panel, as I, I said, there's the connection for, uh, in fact, I'm going to pause this. I'll show you the back panel. So there's the back panel. And as I said, here's the antenna, antenna one connection. Um Made in the Philippines, I believe, yes. Uh, so, I'm not sure what it's for, but you can connect earphones up to there and check your audio, I suppose. So you can kind of monitor your audio. Uh, there's the where the um, radio goes, right there. And here's your uh, power. This was uh, cut off like this when I got it. So, obviously, red is positive, black is negative. Be very careful not to touch those together. But, uh, you know, 12 volts is all you need. Not a lot of power, obviously, to run those... LED bulbs, but uh, that's the meter, and we'll spin it around here one more time. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the HP 5000 um, Active SWR Power and Modulation Meter.